Hello, I'm Dr. David Feeney. Welcome to our course. I'm the guy in the center of the picture, surrounded by my student friends. You can see the title of our course on your screen, as well as my email address, my cell phone number, and my website. Okay, folks, on the big board behind me, you'll see our focus for this week, education in the news. I'll be reviewing these education stories taken from the news that accentuate this week's discussion topics. The focus on testing is a concern for girls who are getting more A's but whose goal of compliance may not be preparing them for the world ahead. This story in The Guardian newspaper highlights with over 60,000 applications to universities in 2013 by women, girls outperform boys from pre-K through college in most respects these days. But new concerns have arisen that a reverse gender gap against boys is actually a signal of a test-obsessed system that is in retrospect failing all genders. Test-obsessed schools are producing women who are getting the A for compliance, but who are unprepared for their lives ahead. While boys may be gaining ground in recent years, overall girls now outperform boys from early years through postgraduate qualifications. This new gender gap in university admissions, the story argues, does not bode well for both girls or boys. I'd like to point out an excellent book relating to this week's learning objectives, and that book is available on Amazon.com, as you see here. The title is Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgendered People with Developmental Disabilities and Mental Retardation, Stories of the Rainbow Support Group. This unique book describes the founding achievements and history of the first support group for people with developmental disabilities and mental retardation who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender. Group founder John D. Allen describes the Rainbow Support Group's beginning in 1998 and shatters myths and stereotypes surrounding people with mental retardation and their sexual orientation. To quote Mr. Allen, not only are people with MRDD full human beings with the same needs and desires for intimacy and sexuality as people without intellectual disabilities, but the group is evidence that some people with MRDD have an understanding of their own sexual orientation. Acknowledging that people with mental retardation are sexual is a new development in the human service field, one that is still in the pre-Stonewall days regarding those who are gay. In Education Week, once again this week, a new state is highlighting transgender students' rights in the schoolroom. Nicole Maines and her family sued the state of Maine's education system in 2009 after the Arono School District refused to let her use the women's bathroom in the facility. Instead required Nicole, a transgendered student, to use a specially designated staff bathroom. A state superior court judge recently ruled that the Arono School District acted within its discretion and the lawyer for the school district said that it should be up to the Maine legislature to add more clarification on this issue. And lastly, again in Education Week in the Finding Common Ground area, there is a blog post by Peter DeWitt about transgendered students and finding common ground. A fictional student named Jack feels that he doesn't act like other boys and the adults around him want Jack to change. But, as Mr. DeWitt asks, is that Jack's problem? Also discussed in the article is a recent report by the Human Rights Commission called Growing Up LGBTQ in America. 
According to that report, a survey of more than 10,000 youths ages 13 to 17 provides a stark picture of the difficulties faced by transgendered students. They find safe havens among peers, online, and in more cases, in the schools. However, regardless, transgendered students do remain optimistic and believe things will get better. hoo everybody! You've come to the end of our presentation, and it is truly fist bump in time. Even if you're someone who doesn't quite understand the concept of bumping fists. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our video presentation, and I hope that you found it practical and useful. I'm Dr. David Feeney saying I look forward to learning with and from you. And to all our hardworking students out there, I want to close by saying much respect, people. Much respect. Take care. Bye now.